Good evening. Thank you all for coming for the first annual Aster Award Ceremony at the Triborough Film Festival. And at any time, please, no, help yourself to all the food. We're not taking it home. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves this evening. Uh, my name is Phil Capadora. I am the founder of the Astoria Filmmakers Club. This started about three very short years ago on February the 11th, 2020. Uh, just immediately before the pandemic, uh, we were doing something at least once a week, just getting together, going out at a restaurant, having a glass of beer together, and just starting to shake hands and meet who actually is from the area. So, it turns out there's tens of thousands, if not more, people in the industry that just live here in Astoria, Queens. And uh, it's been a phenomenal ride thus far. We've had so much support coming from as far as the United Kingdom, Japan, uh, most recently Ethiopia, and it's just been an incredible journey thus far. And uh, about a year ago, we decided, you know what? Everybody does want to work, so why don't we see who actually has some films that they may want to show. So, shortly after that, we began the process of the Triborough Film Festival, the first of its kind. An exclusive New York City film festival, a battle of the boroughs, just for us. And so, we did. We had over 50 submissions. Many actually did come from overseas because people were actually born in the city of New York, they just no longer are here. But their films did qualify to be in the festival. If you are from here, if you are here, or if it was filmed here, then it belongs here. This is a film festival for us. And I'm sure you're all very anxious to find out who those winners are. And uh, just by a show of hands, how many people actually came to the Zucker Theater uh, a couple weeks ago? Oh, wow. That's great. <laughs> great. Did you guys have any favorites or uh, any, like, uh, preferred ones? Well, which ones? Like, yeah, I'm sure you said yes, but which ones? Oh, you liked Mittens? Were you in Mittens? Oh, you were in Mittens. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, you know what? I think it's time. Uh, our first presenter tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is, uh, is a man who needs very little introduction. He's been around the neighborhood for so long. He's an influencer here in the neighborhood. He cares about the people who are from here. He is from here. So if you wouldn't mind, please help me welcome to the center stage, Mr. Sugar Ray. Thank you, thank you, Phil. Let's give it up for Phil Capitoro, ladies and gentlemen. The founder of the Astoria Filmmaker Club, lead organizer. Right, sometimes people who find something, they have an idea, they create it, but then they leave it alone for other people to do all the work and they want to reap the benefits, right? You know people like that? They have something, they got a little money, they got a little influence, they put it out there, they just sit back, be lazy, and allow, you know, people do all the work, they take all the credit. Phil's not that guy. If you know Phil, you know he busts his behind for the Astoria Filmmakers Club, had the idea to do the, the first ever Tri-Borough Film Festival. He hit me up, I was in full support, man. This is incredible, give yourselves a round of applause for being here. Whether you are a filmmaker, whether you are an actor, whether you are a supporter, whether you are just someone in the neighborhood who heard about it today and happened to stop by, this is a big deal. This has never happened for us, by us, here in Western Queens. So one more time, give it up for everybody involved in this wonderful event, festival, and we're gonna get into it. So clearly when you have festivals, when you have competitions, right? Everyone's effort matters, everyone's ideas and energy, it all matters. But when we vote as a collective and we tally it up, there can only be one. First award is the, for the best cinematographer.
Let's open this up. I do not know who it is yet. We're going to find out together. Y'all excited? So, real quick, before I announce the winner, real quick, a couple of seconds about cinematography. If you don't know what cinematography is, it's the art, right, of capturing the moving image, right? Using a camera, whether it's a big expensive camera, whether it's a cell phone, whatever it is where you're able to capture film or video, that is the process of cinematography. There's an art to it. It is not just picking up a camera and pointing and shooting. It is actually using that object to tell a story, to paint a picture. That is not easy work. It is not an easy task. It is not just picking up a camera, turning on and shooting. It is thinking. It is strategizing. It is organizing thoughts. It is thinking about lighting and all that stuff to create the best impact of the visual. So, everyone matters. Everyone's effort is important. But designer is one of the people that helps in doing that. We've had a lot of amazing nominees um, and the winner for best production design goes to, or sorry, goes to The Pendulum and the Pits uh, by Danny
come on up here again. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm the director of the film. Uh, the actor couldn't be here, unfortunately, but I'll make sure he gets this well-deserved plan. Thank you so much. For this award, we're going to bring up a, actually a filmmaker friend of mine, Gibran. Hello, good morning, good evening. I'm here to present supporting, best supporting actors. As you know, without supporting actresses and actors, we wouldn't have phenomenal performances and phenomenal movies. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna present the best supporting actress. And the winner is, the answer goes to Carol Todd for best supporting actress in Tito. Is Carol here? Nobody from Tito's here. Oh, oh my gosh, they got a lot of awards. Okay, well, we will get that award over to you, Tito. <laughs> it's my turn, guys. Hey. Um, okay, because quickly, I'm going to present the award for writer, and I'm really honored to do so because I am a writer born and raised in Astoria here, so um, I'm happy to present this award. The Astro goes to Jason Spagnuli for Lenny. And I really liked this movie too. Yes, yes, congratulations. Jason Spagnuli here. You're going to accept on his behalf, I see you right. Okay, wonderful. So come up here and tell us who you are. Hi, I am Mark Shaw and I am Lenny. You are Lenny. So uh, you go. I will make sure uh, Jason gets this. Um, this is phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. Congratulations. Good job. Sorry, guys. Next up is, to present the next award for best makeup is James Avatar. Is James Avatar here to present? Here you go, bro. Hello! Some of you know me. I feed you fried chicken and stuff. Uh, nobody's given me anything. So I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Hello? Hello? This is the first year we're doing this, so thank you for your patience. Yes. We appreciate it. Okay, so this is for best makeup. And the Astor goes to Mittens. Yeah. Where's Mittens at? All right, come on up here and get this award. All right. Oh, he gives it to you. There you go.
next one is for wardrobe. And the actor goes to the pit and the pendulum. A music cabre. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, my costume designer was Anthony Paul Cabaretta, who did a marvelous job putting me in a 17th century doublet. That was. Uh, well, we had several versions. The version that I wore before I get sliced is the version that I wear after I get sliced. So you have to see the film to see what that looks like. Who did you guys want? <laughs> to present the next award is our founder and our energizer, Phil Capador, for best for people's choice. Thank you, Sugar. Okay. I'm back. Okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know about this award, this actually came uh, uh, directly from the people who did come to the tri -Row Film Festival. Uh, the People's Choice Award was your choice. All the votes were tallied up and accounted for. And the Astor goes to the Carousel Man, People's Choice Award. <laughs> Anton, didn't you direct that? Did you direct that? The Carousel Man? I did. You directed it? No, you didn't. <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our next presenter is actually an actress uh, from North Carolina. Uh, she lives here in Astoria, and please welcome to the stage, Miss Leanne Guzman. Good evening, everybody. I am very honored to be presenting this award for Best in Borough. And the Astor Award for the 2023 Best in Borough goes to Perry Perkin. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> This next award 
right now. I said, this next one. I said, this next one is the soundtrack. And the Aster goes to The Seasons for Love Stories by Paul Schwartz. Best soundtrack by Paul Schwartz. Nobody wants to accept it? Cool. Let's go. Let's go. We're moving along. <laughs> Our next presenter is for Best Sound Design is Gibran Ahmed. We're going to be doing Best Director next. Best Director, really? So, so happy to present the award for Best Director. A little louder, a little louder. Okay. So, I'm happy to present the award for. Back a little bit. <laughs> I do what I'm told. What can I say? Um, I'm happy to present the award for Best Director. Uh, there are so many different position, positions on a film set, but the director is essentially the leader. And he is responsible, or she, is responsible for the vision behind the film. And the award for best director goes to Ian Phillips. There goes the neighborhood. As you guys know, actresses and actors, it is their job 
to bring you to tears, whether that is from laughter or from emotion or from just, you know, just pure, pure, uh, raw performance on the screen. Uh, so I'm gonna present Best Actress, and the Aster goes to Jada Ferraro from Mitten. Hey, I'm not Jada. Uh, I'm Luga, I wrote the film, Jada's fantastic. She's a Dallas, Texas actress. I'm gonna make sure that she gets this, thanks so much. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, we actually have a special guest uh, coming in here tonight, and uh, this guy actually is one of the guys who actually inspired me to actually even start the Astoria Filmmakers Club, because a year prior, maybe even two, he was already doing something very similar in the Bronx, and it just kind of gave me, personally, sort of like a permission to give it a try here in Queens. So I would actually like to introduce one of the co-founders to the Bronx 48 Film Collective, and his name is Mr. Edwin Torres. Thank you. with the mission to cultivate a better, more robust, and fun cinema culture in the Bronx. So how we do that is we have a couple of things. We have some workshops. Uh, we do workshops with filmmakers. Uh, we do networking events. Uh, we do one per year right now. And our biggest thing is we run a 48-hour film challenge. Anybody familiar with the 48-hour film challenge? Yeah, so, yeah, it's pretty intense, uh, very uh, sleepless weekend where you have to make a whole movie, short film, in six, uh, or three to six minute film, all write it, shoot it, edit it, and release it, have a ready to show, all in 48 hours. So, we're planning a new one for this year. Um, you can find us on social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, and LinkedIn as well, at Bronx Film, and the number is 48. Bronx Film 48. So, 48 hour film challenge. If you guys are trying to make a film in 48 hours, uh, you can compete for some prizes. And uh, yeah, there's first, second, and third place. And uh, yeah, we'll let people know um, on social media. So, we'll keep everybody up to date. And hopefully, maybe I'll see some of you filmmakers take on the challenge. So, yeah, Bronx Film 48. Uh, thank you so much. We are going to take a brief intermission. And we'll be back in a few minutes. Cool? Go see the vendors, use the restroom, go get some food, get some beverages, talk to each other, get a drink, mingle, congratulate somebody. Come up here in front of our step and repeat, please take some pictures, don't be shy. All right, take some pictures, hashtag, have some fun. You're here for a reason, you're here for a purpose. Let's enjoy ourselves. All right? Welcome back to our final section of awards. Our first presenter is Liana, and she'll be presenting the award for best sound design. Thank 
Our next presenter is Brother Gibran again, and he'll be presenting for best short film. Short films are a great way for filmmakers to experiment with new techniques, but also to showcase their skills and their chops. So the award for best short film goes to Lenny from Jason Spagnoli. Wait, did I say that right? That's his name. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this was an incredible crew uh, to be a part of. Jason wrote and directed this. He helmed um, really something special. And uh, yeah, he, I will get this to Dimitri, who will get this to Jason. But um, thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Our next presenter is Lucien, and she'll be presenting for Best Actor. For Best Actor, the, ac the Aster goes to Mark Schock Woo! for Lenny. I mean, Lenny is bringing it home tonight, man. Good for you. Go ahead. Hi again. Um, this is super cool. Uh, thank you, TFF. Thank you, AFC. Um, congrats to all of us, really, uh, being a part of the inaugural Aster Awards. This is pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, I mean, to get something like this, you only get it if you have an incredible supporting cast and crew behind you, and uh, I thank them all, and thank you. Appreciate it. I am the next presenter. I am Sugar Ray. film. take a moment or so to talk about the feature project. Again, earlier I spoke a little bit about what it takes to direct the project. A feature of film is what we all go to the movies to see, right? The movies that are an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 30 minutes, two hours, the movies that sometimes you gotta pause it, go use the bathroom, you're mad when you miss something, and you gotta watch it again, it's so good. To create a feature film project, hour and 20 minute project, right? 60 minutes or more. It takes extreme patience. It takes focus, it takes diligence and determination, it takes creativity, it takes compassion. You're working again with other personalities, you're working with, within a specific budget, right, to create a project at a certain length. It's no easy feat. Again, I'm a filmmaker myself, 
I have not yet created a feature of project because it is not easy. No matter how good you are, it's not easy. It is about more than being good, right? It's about grit, right? It's about willpower. It is about resilience, right? Persistence. And so, the 2023 Asta for best feature length film goes to There Goes the Neighborhood. Once again, my peoples, I'm extremely excited to represent for Ian Phillips and creating an amazing, amazing, amazing documentary that addresses social issues in a time where people are creating content, people are investing money to just distract us. Right? This brother put time, money, effort, organizing to raise awareness about an issue that's impacting all of us one way or another. Our neighborhoods, our culture, everything we love about New York City is changing, is disintegrating. The neighborhood that we once loved is no more. So to shed light on that, I think is extremely important. And so once again, shout out to There Goes the Neighborhood. And all these awards matter, all of our voices matter, I know y'all love my voice, but we're here for the Astor Awards. Our next presenter, our final presenter, for the biggest and best award that we have, is Phil Capadora to present the Astor. Thank you, Sugar Ray. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and for those of you watching at home, thank you so much. Uh, to see what we're doing, uh, please visit our website, www.astoriafilmmakers.org. We are a 501c3. We've been doing this now officially for, well, now uh, two weeks. So. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. But no, it's been, uh, you know, putting uh, three years, three full, three and a half, four full years into the foundation of everything we're doing right now. Four years of foundation work that we got deep roots and we got five boroughs and there's over 50,000 of us here in New York City that we know of. And it's only a matter of time from here to Asia, Europe, parts of Africa, where people are gonna come here, where you don't have to go to Hollywood anymore. You don't, you don't need them. There's more than enough resources, we have more than enough tools, we got more than enough talent and skill to match, compete, and go toe to toe with these guys. No, we do. And the reason why we do have things like this is so that it can prepare you to compete against those guys, because you are, you are contenders. You can't go toe to toe with them. And you've proven that, not tonight, but with all the work that you guys have done prior to tonight. And we've all seen your movies, you guys, you got talent. And those are the kind of people, personally, that I want to work with. That is one of the only reasons I started this organization. I didn't need to start it. I just wanted to meet people who lived here, so we could work together. But it grew Beyond my wildest imagination, I had no idea that I was going to be a president of a nonprofit, and I like I have to be, become friends with the attorney general now. I didn't know that was ever going to happen. I wanted to be an actor. I still am. I'm not very good. But here I am. But no, and also no, I'm, I'm not, like I'm all right. Anyway, no, but uh, guys. Uh, uh, I really can't wait uh, to see your future work. Uh, the Astoria Filmmakers Club is on its way to becoming the number one crowdfunding resource for the entire independent film market. We are a 501c3, and of course, like we had the People's Choice Award earlier tonight, if you haven't heard of this TV show, it is called The Chosen. It is one of the best shows that I've seen in a very long time. Everybody knows the story of Christ, and that's basically what it's about. It's a, it's a Jesus story, but it's so much better than that. These actors are incredible. They're all, they're all from all over the world. I don't know, but they're amazing. And the thing is, with The Chosen, these guys had their first pilot episode crowdfunded by people of the world, and that's the same exact type of model I want to bring to a story of Queens because let the world decide for a change what kind of movies and content we actually get to see in theaters. You guys got more than enough talent to actually create that content and let the people decide what they want to see. And if they want to see it, they'll donate. And then we will produce.
produce it together. It is that simple. That is the mission, that is the goal, and the Astor Award is something very special and near and dear to me in my heart because it actually represents that entire concept. And I wanted to actually present the award tonight, but there were two guys here that would just, you know, do it more justice than me. Uh, please, before you leave tonight, please come and see me. I want to meet everybody who came here tonight. For those of you who are watching at home, thank you so much. But uh, to present the Astor Award, something that represents the soul of Astoria, Queens, something that represents the ethos of community, creativity, and joy of the Astoria Filmmakers Club. I'd like to introduce to you guys once again to James Avatar and Edwin Torres to present the award. Give it up for Phil, y'all. Come on, man. That's the friends right there. Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, before I do this horn, I, I'm sorry. Ladies, could we have some more films, please? Could y'all make some more movies, please? All right? All right? We, we need your point of view, all right? Because we have no idea what we're doing. So can, can you help us out, please? All right, thank you, thank you. I, I just had to get that off. All right, this is the final award of the night. It's the Astro Award. A little, little bit about the Astro Award. Uh, give it to my man. Check it. Thank you. Cool. All right. So the Astor Award. Um, apparently, the last name Astor has like a long family legacy of a lot of excellence. So just from the ripping off of, uh, of the internet right here, uh, one of the uh, one of the Astors, John Jacob Astor IV, was actually uh, a business. He was a businessman, a, a magnate, real estate developer, investor, writer, and a lieutenant colonel in the Spanish American War. Um, and uh, fortunately, he died in the uh, in the RMS uh, Titanic. Um, but uh, yeah, um, he represents kind of like the entrepreneurial spirit that this whole uh, festival represents as well. So yeah, it's a little bit of history for you. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah. You learn something new every day. Okay. All right, so are y'all ready? Yeah. 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 Queens, are you ready? Yeah. 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 Right. See, that's Queens, that's Queens. <laughs> Bronx, but that's great. Right. And the Astra goes to apples, oranges, lemons, and limes. <laughs> Will anybody accept this award? <laughs> sit down, ladies, sit down, all right? All right. We, we accept it on, on their behalf. I guess we take a picture now. Yeah. Hey, everybody at home, thanks for checking us out. Queens get the movies, baby. Come on, let's go. Uh, the winner of the award tonight, I hope you guys are watching at home, because uh, I just got a text message in my pocket. I think that was him. Uh, this is a film uh, that was uh, uh, written, directed, cinematographed, like top to bottom, left to right. This guy was a, like almost a one-man show. Uh, his name is Patrick Mitchell. I hope you're watching at home, buddy. Um, uh, this uh, this was, uh, you know, I think it was meant to be because uh, I accidentally turned off the fees on Christmas Day to enter into the Tribro Film Festival, and he actually, uh, <laughs> sorry. He got in for free. That was my fault. But that being said, uh, his movie literally blew me away. Apples, oranges, and lemons and limes. Uh, it's a kid, not even maybe 24 years old, born in the Bronx, uh, raised a little bit in Yonkers, and currently lives in uh, the state of Florida. And if you do follow them on Instagram, these guys are actually like uh, stealing, stealing Instagram and going a little bit viral because it got accepted uh, into an award uh, festival over in Wisconsin that I saw. These guys are actually on fire right now. And I don't know for sure if the Triborough Film Festival Astor Award is their first award for that film, but if it is, it was more than deserved because I got nominated in 11 of 15 categories. It was a job very well done. And uh, Pat, if you're watching, let me know so we could actually show everybody here a way for them to watch your movie. And ladies and gentlemen, drinks are on me. We're done.